Hey guys, welcome back to another edition of Intuitive Angling. I uh, really appreciate you guys making time out in your busy schedule to watch the videos as always. And today we are going to talk about catching big bass and the fact that, you know, everybody loves to catch big ones and <clears throat> they're hard to catch. I mean, big bass are not as easy to catch. And I'm going to give you guys some tips and advice on what to look for as far as if you want to specifically uh, catch big bass and some things that will really um, up your odds of catching a quality fish because there are some tricks to it. Catching big bass, it can be a random thing, but there are some things you can do to really, really give you guys a lot better odds of catching big ones. So we're gonna go over and I'm gonna share with you guys everything that I've found out in my own fishing career about what it takes to catch big ones. So anyway, real quick before we get started, just wanna remind you guys, we finally got the new Randy Blockett Solar Bat RB1, RB2, Randy Blockett 2 model Solar Bats in. This is the new design, guys. Um, just got a call from Solar Bat today. They're in stock. I'll include the link in the description, the Solar Bat link in the description. You guys can order them then. Man, these guys, these things are awesome, man. They got this total thing, total frame that just molds to your face. It keeps all the wind off of your eyes when you're running down the lake. You know, any type of additional sunlight penetration comes in a wide variety of uh, super high quality lenses to match any fishing condition that you'll have. It's got a nose piece designed to keep it from fogging up on it. And designed by Dr. Gary Nesty, who's an optometrist as well as a bass fisherman. So check them out, solarbat.com. I'll include a link in the description. You can get them there. Okay, let's talk a little bit about big bass, one of everybody's favorite topic here. And, uh, you know, some people just catch more big bass than others. And there's not, if you, if you know somebody that catches big ones, it's not just by chance coincidence, coincidence that they catch big ones. There's certain things that they target with them. So I, what I want to do is I want to give you guys sort of a foundation of what you need to look for as far as catching big bass in terms of the areas you need to look for and the techniques that you need to fish for. <coughs> First of all, <coughs> When you're talking about catching big bass, the, the first thing that's going to increase your odds tremendously is you have to fish bodies of water that have big ones in it. I mean, every lake across the country, if there's bass in it, there's big fish in the lake, but certain lakes just have more big fish in them. That's why everybody goes down to Texas or California or Florida, because there's simply more big bass in those waters there. So that's one of the, one of the key ingredients is you got to be around those big ones to catch it. But as far as like relative to the place that you're fishing, several different things you can do. <clears throat> First of all, you have to understand <clears throat> what a big bass needs as far as where it likes to live at. Big bass did not get big by being stupid. They're genetically superior. These fish have been on this planet for over 3 million years. They didn't stay on this planet for 3 million years by being dumb. They learn quick, they fell quick, They readjust to their mistakes and they evolve that you know they evolve to become smarter all the time so the thing that you have to realize about big fish is there's a couple of elements that you have to look for in it and we're talking about overall as far as the majority of the big ones now you're you have to catch a random big one anywhere i mean they could just be one up there ready to bite but consistently catching big ones this is what you need to look for big bass they want some type of a close access to deep water or heavy cover. That's the two most important elements that you need to remember when looking for areas. That's why places like your main lake and secondary points hold a lot of big fish. Your channel swing banks will hold a lot of big fish. Um, sometimes open water, if you have like, uh, you know, offshore grass beds or submerged timber will hold big ones. Big fish do not like to be put in a position where they're shallow without much of an access to cover or deep water. They just won't use it. Small bass will. And that's why you very seldom see like a big bass spawning up in real shallow, skinny water with very little cover around. They just do not like to do that. So remember that when you're trying to decide the areas that you're fishing. You know, analyze the area, try to determine the area that if it's got you know, all those characteristics that the fish need. Second time, second thing you need to realize about it is that big bass, they bite and they got windows that they feed in. And looking back at my own career, most all of the really big bass that I've caught have come during the middle of the day for whatever reason. I haven't caught many big, big bass early in the morning 
or late in the evening. Most of them have been during the middle of the day or in the at night during certain situations when I've been night fishing, I've caught a lot of big ones. But for the most part, you're gonna find out that there's a window from about 10 o'clock to 2.30 that for some reason, that's when you normally catch a big one at. One of the things you can also do is there's, you know, you can look at some of those prime feeding times. That That's a good indicator of big ones too. Next thing you have to look at is the technique that you're using for, for big fish. When you're talking about technique, you're talking about lure selection and you're talking about approach. You can't catch big bass by being noisy and just slopping through an area. Most all the big ones that you catch are gonna be as a, real, as a result of being stealthy. <clears throat> Most of them require a long cast, unless you're like pitching and flipping mats or something like that. But big bass are wary. And that's why you have to be quiet with the trolling motor, quiet in the boat movements, make long casts. That will, that will increase your odds too. And the bait technique needs to be the same thing. One of the most true adages in fishing is, is fish big baits for big bass. There's a lot of myths in fishing, but that's one of the ones that's true there. You will up your odds of catching big fish tremendously if you upsize your bait size. Now, you can catch giants on Ned Rigs, you can catch giants on Shaky Heads, but those are random fish that are just out of, of chance coincidence. Everybody I know that is known as sort of the big bass expert, all the big bass experts that I grew up with, these old dudes back in the 70s that were old guys back in the 70s, they, it's the same thing. Big baits for big fish. That's why your baits like your big swim baits, your glide baits, those two categories of fish consistently produce the biggest fish overall anywhere across the country. So one of the things you can do in your fishing is if you're serious about big fish, you have got to learn to master glide baits and big swim baits. I'm talking about seven inch plus, plus seven to 12 inch swim baits and glide baits. These are the lure categories that's gonna catch your biggest fish. Second to that, behind glide baits and swim baits are gonna be things like your Alabama rigs with big swim baits on them, um, big spinner baits like a big three quarter ounce spinner bait with like a number seven or number eight willow leaf. What are you doing? You come out and say hi? Huh? Hi. Okay, it's been a while since you've been out of here. You getting ready to go night night? No. Okay. <laughs> He's getting ready to go to bed here in a second. So secondary to that, like I said, is it would be the spinner baits, Alabama rigs, or the big swim baits, um, deep diving crank baits, you know, like some big oversized crank bait that gets down deep, and a jig, a full size jig in a trailer. These are the type of baits that produce consistently a lot of big fish. But overall, guys, if you if you're con if you are just focused specifically on big fish, um, here's what I would suggest. Number one. Big swim baits and glide baits. Make those your primary lure selection. And fish those baits during the times of the year when they're the best. The big swim baits and big glide baits, there's a couple different windows that they work. They work really good in the pre-spawn, during the spawn, and during the post-spawn. And then there's also a window that they work in the fall time of the year. So fish those baits heavily that time of year. You can also catch a lot of big bass deep cranking in the late pre, the late post spawn and early summer. One of the best times to catch big ones is after the fish have spawned and they start to move out to deep water and they get out on those deep points, secondary points and on, on ledges, that type of stuff. You have bigger schools of big fish that time of year than any time. And that's when you can catch them, you know, big fishing a big diving, deep diving crankbait. And thirdly, also, slow rolling that big giant spinner bait with like a number seven, number eight willow leaf uh, blade in the pre-spawn like we are right now is another great way to catch them. And so those are the techniques, guys, that I'd recommend. If you guys are wanting to target and focus on big ones, that's what I would suggest. Other than that, your big fish are just going to come random. They really are. They're just not, there's not any rhyme or reason to, to big fish. I mean, I've I've had some tournaments where I've specifically targeted big ones, but most of the time in my fishing, from a tournament perspective, I can't go out and just try to catch big ones all the time. I have to try to catch quality fish and numbers, and a big one just happens to come randomly with that. I think when I was fishing Bassmaster, I won the daily big bass 
award like 10 or 11 times. And every fish that I ever won the big bass award, it either came on a big spinner bait or a jig. If that tells you anything about uh, two baits that work really good. Then that was before, the, you know, big swim bait and glide baits were a deal. So anyway, I hope that helps you guys. Hope it helps you catch some hogs uh, over the next course of the next year. Uh, just give it a try. I think it will. And we'll be back soon with another one. See you.